Hey, this is Stacia, and we're going to do number two now, which is the pin. So for this one, what we want to do is pin the knight to the king. What am I talking about? Well, a pin is when you attack something that has something more valuable behind it. So a king is worth the whole game. So it's more valuable than, than a knight, which is worth three. So by putting the rook on d1, we're pinning the knight to the king. This paralyzes the piece. Now this knight can't move anywhere. See, it's illegal. If the knight were to move, the rook is attacking the king. And you can't take the king in chess, and you can't put your king in danger. So by pinning this knight, he can't move anymore. He's paralyzed. So black is going to need to protect the knight somehow. But this king's too slow, and then we simply win the knight. So that is how you use a pin to win. Let's try another one. This one's number three on the worksheet. So if you want to find a way to pin and win, go ahead and do so now. Okay, so when we're looking for a pin, we want to look for things that are lined up. So one thing that I see is lined up is this bishop is lined up with the king. So if we could get a rook on the fourth rank, that could pin the bishop, but there's two problems. Number one, this bishop's in the way, so it doesn't really do anything. And number two, this bishop's protected by a pawn. So even if this guy wasn't here, I'll just make some random moves just to show. I don't think we want to take this because we would just be losing the rook because the pawn will take back. So we don't want to do that. So let's look for something else that's lined up. Well, what about this? The queen and the king are lined up. So what we want to do is attack the queen because if she moves away, the king would be behind her. So, okay, let's do it. <laughs> rook g to a8. And this is going to win the queen because the queen cannot move out of the way. It's illegal, right? can't put the king in danger. That means this queen is basically paralyzed. She can only move this way. That's the only way she can move because she has to block the rook from checking the king. So probably black's best move is to just sacrifice the queen. But now we get to play rook takes check and we have a bishop and a rook versus a bishop. All we have to do now is stop these pawns and we're gonna win the game. So that would win. And if they do nothing, if they try to just move here, this is called unpinning. Now, if we do nothing, let's say we do nothing like this. Now black could actually move their queen away and they could play check and they're out of danger. They're not gonna lose the queen anymore. So if black unpins, it's time to just simply take the queen. Now we take the queen, they take back, and again, we're up material. So we would win the game. Okay, let's do one last one. This is number five on the worksheet. So if you want to find the move that pins and wins, find it now. Okay, so this one's a little bit harder. We want to look for things that are lined up but black doesn't have a whole lot of pieces, right? The rook and the king are not lined up at all. And the only thing that is lined up is this pawn and this rook, but also this pawn and this king. So if we could pin this pawn, that would be a pretty good idea, but unfortunately our bishop's in the way. So that one doesn't work. But what about pinning this pawn to the king? So rook a2, now this pawn is pinned. Does this do anything? Well, actually it does because the pawn is pinned by the rook and attacked by the rook and is already attacked by the bishop. That's two against one. That means we can take that pawn next unless black can protect it again. But unfortunately the rook can't come to d7 to protect there's a pawn in the way and they cannot come to h2 because there's a king in the way. So this is going to just win this pawn. 
Probably the only thing black could really do is maybe attack our pawn like this, but we could just play check. And now they're gonna have to move their king. And then next we could protect our pawn. Actually, can we? Looks kind of hard to do. <laughs> Well, I actually have a trick. This isn't part of this puzzle, but I was thinking I have a little bit of a trick. This is going to be a nice segue into the next one, because if they take the pawn, we have this little move, rookie one check, and that is a skewer. We're going to win that rook, but skewers are next. So I'll see you in the next video.